is CBA Crooks, and today, for the $250,000 prize scholarship, I will be demonstrating for you today the Heisenberg Uncertainty Principle of Quantum Mechanics. Now, you may have noticed this already, but if not, see how when, you, when a light passes through a narrow slit, you expect most of the light to be blocked and to have a narrow shape appear, see? goes without saying, correct? Or does it? If you look at the edge, where the slit really gets narrow, it starts to bulge. If you look closely, you'll see that, and that is the Heisenberg Uncertainty Principle. And to understand how it works, you're going to need to know a few rules of the world of the very small. I trust you already know what an electron is. They're a part they're the parts of an atom, the smallest thing, the smallest part, and it cannot be broken down. So say we have an electron and you want to measure its speed and position and velocity. Usually in the real world, you just shine light on it. That's what we used to see. And and a while back, early scientists tried to do that. They and I believe the early nine, I believe in the early nineteen thirties, they just shined photons on an electron. But they discovered something. Hitting an electron with photons is like hitting a baseball with a bullet. If the if the baseball is traveling one direction and the bullet is traveling in another direction, then you end up with something going in a completely new direction. The more energy the, pho the photon, or in this case, the bullet has, the more the baseball's direction and speed changes. As a result, there is a limit to how, bit, to how precisely you can measure something. And if one's position is known correctly, or very well, its velocity must be highly uncertain, and the other way around. A common example of this is actually Schrodinger's cat. Say you have a cat, or to be a bit more, a bit better, a lab mouse. You put it in a box, any box, as long as it's opaque. And in the box, you also put a, a, ma a material that can decay, a, a device for measuring the decay, a mo which is connected to a hammer on a motor, and then a vial of poison gas nearby. If the material decays, the hammer will be swung and the, and the vial of poison gas will be broken, killing the mouse. Now, before we open the box, the mouse is in a odd state, a superposition, as the scientists call it. It is half alive 50% alive and 50% dead at the same time. Most science, most, to most people, it does not make sense, but it's because our tools of measuring cause more change that the quantum world seems so strange. Ahui ho, trackle. 